Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been kind of a while since I've uh, since I made a video, but I decided to maybe try to get back into it, um, make some more videos. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Ultra Gauge MX. Uh, this is the 1.4. So yeah, so let's just go ahead and open it up. So I decided to get this one versus like the, uh, I can't remember what the other one's called. It's called like the Pro model, I think, because I think that one can't read uh, transmission temps. Void damage, please visit ultragauge.com slash start. We don't need that. So here it is right here. I know this is kind of close, sorry about that. This is about as tall as my tripod will go. I'll get that out in a minute. It looks like it's gonna take some time. Here's the window mount. I opted to get this, it was like six bucks, so I figured why not. I think I could have gotten away with the regular mount and just mounted it on uh, the handle on my truck. Uh, so here it is. I'm not sure if this is, I would assume it's a suction cup. I would assume probably, yeah. So it just mounts in right here and pivot it all around. It's flex, yep, it's flexible. So now we can go ahead and actually try to get this thing out of the box. Here it is right here. So this plugs right into your OBD2 scanner, scan port, uh, wherever that is for under the dash on whatever rig you have. Back here, please do not open this protective sleeve till you are sat satisfied with the compatibility. I cannot read. So hopefully this works because I have a first gen Tacoma. Uh, and I just picked Tacoma slash Tundra. So hopefully this works. So I did go and just plug this into my Toyota Tacoma and it did work. So um, I left it in this just in case it didn't work, but I set the whole thing up. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to go set it up again when I go plug it back in, but um, it does work. So go ahead and take it out of this packaging. And I'll probably leave this film on here just because I read online, it says the screen can scratch pretty easily. So I'll probably leave this on unless it starts to really bother me, then I'll take it off on the back. I just had to figure out how to work, how to work it. It's not that difficult. This is your, it says menu. That's basically your select button and then you're up and down. And that's pretty much all there is to using this thing. So it's super, super easy to use. Uh, like I said, this just plugs right into the OBD2 port. And then this should, yeah. So this will just slide right onto the back of this. So let's go ahead and go out to the truck and let's go and install it. All right, guys. So we have the ultra gauge and here's the mount. So to install this, all you do is you find your OBD2 port, which mine is right there on the right-hand side of the dash. All you do is just take this end with this notch. For mine, and the notch is facing forward, and you just plug it, just plug it in, and it'll turn onto the scanning screen. You do have to have the truck, your car in the run position, so it might take a minute start playing copyrighted music over here all right so here's what it looks like now it says j1850 found there's also different codes for like ford gm and chrysler so there it is it says gauges 44 so i'd assume that would mean this amount of settings is 44 settings and there is the i already preset this menu so you have miles per hour your rpms your horse brake horsepower uh, your torque, your miles per gallon. So you have your menu button, so you just push that on the back. There's not one to press for some reason. There we go. Uh, so gauge, select gauges, and you can have seven preset gauge selections, which is, I that's more than enough, I think. I'll go through all the ones so you guys can see all the things that there is. Oop. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff. And my truck's a 95, so it's pretty bare in terms of what it has. So if you have a newer rig, then there will probably be more options. All right, so we're back on the home screen. So to install, take this and this notch goes down. This little notch right here goes down. Just put it on like that and it should. Yep. 
just slides up into place like that. So now I'm gonna try to figure out where I'm gonna install this thing. So I decided I am gonna mount it right here, so it's probably gonna go, this is kind of pushing it for how far you should probably focus. Pushing it for how far as you should probably flex it. I flexed it a little bit too far, it started to bend the plastic. So I think I'm gonna put it right here. So all you do uh, for the windshield mount is you stick it to the windshield and then you use this right here and you just ratchet it. Ooh. And you just ratchet it to the windshield like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, it's mounted right in the corner over here. Um, I think it's nice because when you're driving, you can still see you know, you can still see everything and this isn't blocked by the steering wheel or anything. So that's that's really nice. So that's the way I kind of have it mounted up like that. And I'm going to go ahead and try on the sides to go ahead. I don't know why this thing is not focusing. There we go. I'm going to try to tuck this thing behind here somehow. Zip ties will probably be involved because they solve everything. All right, guys. So I managed to get it kind of cable managed. As you can see, the cord just runs down. And this trim piece right here kind of holds uh, holds the cord behind, comes down, then it goes in between this little gap right there, out back behind. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of wiring and stuff down here. There's a, a lot of it here. So I'm going to try to tuck this behind this paneling for the most, and then run it back behind the dash here and try to zip tie it to the pre-existing wires all the way to over here. So I actually changed my mind about where I was gonna put the wire. I ran the wire back this way and it goes underneath the carpet behind, behind the carpet here and it comes out right there. Still comes out in the same spot over, tuck that behind, there we go. Still comes out in the same spot. But I thought that, that was just a little bit easier than having to mess with this big thing of wires and putting more wires up there. This thing falls down every once in a while, so I figured putting more weight on it would probably just make it worse. So running behind the carpet was easy. Also keeps the cord, you know, pretty out of sight from the front, so you don't have to deal with that. So I guess the last thing to do is to uh, strap the truck and take it for a drive and see how it works. So everything is installed. Start the truck up so you guys can see the screen. So it comes on pretty dang quick. So I'm gonna try to drive a little bit and show this to you. It's a it's a it's a manual, so it might be a might be a little bit tricky to try to show you guys. But I am going to try to to show you the the screen. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to show show this to you. So you can see speedometer. The speedometer is a little slow. It's not too bad. RPM's pretty cool, as you can see the exact amount since this is uh, analog, I guess you'd say odometer. It's cool to see the, the power and torque though, that's, that's a really cool thing to be able to see. and cut it right now so I can drive. Alright guys, so I'm doing some highway driving now and Ultra Gauge is all hooked up and I don't even know, I don't know if I need to calibrate it or something but especially for the miles per gallon because I've had it say 105 miles per gallon. I wish, I wish this truck got 105 miles per gallon but it, it definitely does, does not. The speedometer is definitely off because it says 59 and I'm probably doing 64 right now. So the speedometer is definitely off. I don't know if I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to calibrate it, but the RPMs are probably the only thing that's working 100% right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out and see if I can figure out how to calibrate it. Okay, so I realize what's happening is my truck has bigger wheels and tires on it and there's no way to calibrate, calibrate the speedometer for it. So right, right now when I'm at, the 55 mark, that's what I'm doing 60 miles an hour in this. So the the ultra gauge is using my, using the truck's data and it's not actually giving me the correct data. All right, so it's been a couple months since I've gotten the ultra gauge and I've just been using it, you know, pretty much every single day. 
and I really, really like it. The biggest thing that I really like is just being able to see the correct mile per hour just because the speedometer on my truck is off. So talking about the Ultra Gauge, this thing retails for $110 on Ultra Gauge's website, but right now you can get it on sale for $94 and this is the MX version. There's also the EM version, the EM Plus, and I realized that that's the one I should have gotten, but I didn't read it close enough. So essentially the EM one can do performance tests pretty much. So it can show you zero to 60, like zero to 30. It can show you eighth mile, quarter mile, stuff like that. And that's what I realized that I, I wanted that, uh, but I got this one instead because I thought that this was just an extra, it was basically the same thing, but it could read, this one could read the transmission temps. So I might actually get rid of, get rid of this one, maybe sell this one and then buy the EM plus version just so I can have that because I use apps on my phone, but they're not that great. You hit the gas and they don't actually do anything for two seconds. And then they stay, they stay running your time for like another four seconds and they're just not that great. So that's pretty much for the ultra gauge. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did remember to leave a thumbs up, if not, that's okay too. If you guys would like to know anything else about the ultra gauge, you can go and let me know down in the comments below, but it's probably a better idea just to go over to ultra gauges website to find out stuff because they can tell you a lot more about this thing than I ever could. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.